Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here. Uh, and today I got a, a couple of packages to go over with you. Um, so far this week I got a package from Declutter, Amazon, a local uh, grocery store. I went to uh, yesterday before work. Uh, some Dollar Tree, some Second and Charles. So let's just dive right on in. Uh, first package I got from Declutter uh, that came on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. I can't remember. But uh, just two titles to go over. First one is a film put out by Severin Films from 1991. It is one of uh, Lucio Fulci's last films, and I've, I've never seen it before. But it is called uh, Door Into Silence, uh, starring John Savage and Sandy Schultz, uh, Jennifer Loeb, and Richard Castleman. Uh, let's see here. Oh, sorry, this is his final film, I'm sorry. Uh, it says he, uh, Fauci, has returned to Louisiana, the location of his masterpiece, The Beyond for an eerie psychological tale of the supernatural. John Savage stars as a businessman who encounters a mysterious beauty, a rel relentless hearse, and his own ultim ultimate nightmare while driving the backwoods of the desolate bayou. That sounds pretty interesting to me. Let me know if you guys seen this one. I know some of his later films were not the greatest, but I still want to watch it. And then the second, um, it's not really a movie, it's a TV series I picked up. I've had season one in my collection for the longest time, and I finally found it for a good price. Uh, this was put out by Mill Creek. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of this this, uh, this TV series. It's a Canadian uh, comedy sketch from lasted five seasons. And it has a movie, but the movie's not in this. It is Kids in the Hall. It's definitely a classic um, comedy show from Canada. Uh, starring uh, Dave Foley, Bruce McCulloch, Kevin McDonald, Mark McKinney, and Scott Thompson. I don't know if you guys remember this show at all. I even love that theme song. Uh, having an Average Weekend by Shadowy Men on a Shadowy Planet. I think one of the guys in, in that band died uh, quite a few years ago. So yeah, definitely a, definitely a great find on the declutter. Okay, I got Amazon here. Uh, they were doing deals, uh, the deals of the day. I was just going through their uh, Blu-rays and I found two titles that I was interested in. Uh, they're both uh, anniversary editions. Uh, both put out by Columbia Pictures. Uh, first up is a film from my childhood that I vaguely remember and I know this film would not be made today due to the subject matter and it's just politically incorrect. Uh, this was from 1995. And it is the Indian in the cupboard, which should be the Native American in the cupboard. If you want to be politically correct. Uh, I remember the book when I was a kid, too. I remember reading that. Uh, definitely those old, like, scholastic book fairs. Any of you guys remember those? Yeah, fun times. This was directed by Frank Oz. Uh, David Keith, uh, Hal Scardino, Lightfoot, Richard Jenkins, and Rishi Bat are in the star in this film. This is the 20th anniversary edition from 2015. And then next is a film that I've seen here and there over the years. This is from 2005. Uh, stars Dax Shepard, Kristen Stewart, Tim Robbins, and Josh Hutcherson, and Jonah Bobo. Uh, Zathura. Um, 
I'm not totally familiar. I mean, I think I've seen it a little bit here and there over the years, but never all the way through. I know it's from the same, uh, based on the book by Chris Van Allsburg. I think, didn't he do Jumanji? I thought he did. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, definitely want to give that a watch all the way through this time. Uh, so I went to a Dollar Tree uh, Friday morning. I went in there. They had all the stuff I've already seen at other locations, so I didn't buy anything. But I went to the grocery store next door, and they had some uh, movies you buy in there. The, the new ones, not the used. Found three DVDs there. Well, first one's a three DVD set of uh, M old MGM films. Uh, we got 12 Angry Men in the Heat of the Night and Marty. I know I've seen 12 Angry Men. I think I've seen parts of in the Heat of the Night, but I've never seen Marty. Uh, 12 Angry Men stars Peter uh, Henry Fonda, of course. Uh, from 1957, 96 minutes. In the Heat of the Night, 1967, 110 minutes. Uh, starring Sidney Poitier, Rod Steiger, and then Marty, which I've never seen, is from 1954, 90 minutes. Starring Ernest Borgnine. That's the one. That, that's the only uh, actor they credit on the back here, but uh, they're all not rated. Uh, 12 Angry Men and Marty are both in black and white, and In the Heat of the Night is in color. There's the back. Uh, it doesn't say anything about special features or anything, but these are just old DVDs, so probably little to nothing. Uh, next is a film that intrigued me based on the cast, not necessarily on the, the plot of the movie, but it is a film from 2006 called... Uh, Come Early Morning, starring Ashley Judd, uh, Jeffrey Donovan, Tim Blake Nelson, Laura Preppen, Scott Wilson, Stacey Keach, and Diane Ladd. Written and directed by Joey Lauren Adams from uh, the Jane Silent Bob films, especially Chasing Amy, Mall Rats. Uh, there's been a couple other ones too. But yeah, definitely something interesting that I look forward to watching. And the last title here, you guys. I know uh, I've seen this movie many times before, but I, didn't, I don't think I have it in my collection. So I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, we have Cheech and Chong up in smoke. Uh, I've definitely seen this before. It's got Cheech Marin, Tommy Chong, Tom Skerritt. Eddie Adams, um, Srother Martin, and Stacy Keach plays the sergeant. I remember that. That's hilarious. But yeah, another uh, stoner comedy in the collection. So I went to Dollar Tree and Second and Charles today after I got off work. So the first Dollar Tree was kind of a bust. But I got two things. One DVD, one book. Uh, the DVD is is a 75th anniversary of 24 cartoons of the original Popeye. It's put out by uh, Echo Bridge 2008, 187 minutes. Uh, it ranges between color and black and white. Uh, it's got a list of different uh, the episodes on the back here. I think a lot of some of them are from the 30s and the 50s and 60s. Yeah, so yeah, that's interesting, right? I mean, I know Warner Archive put, like, different volumes out on Blu-ray, but I never picked them up, so. For a buck, I'll, I'll definitely give this a watch. And then the book I found is called The Rise and Fall of the Gall Gallivanters. I think that's how you say that. So the, the cover definitely intrigued me because, you know, Mohawk, Green Mohawk, Punk Rock. And I'll give you, read a little synopsis here. Uh, it says, there's a darkness coming. Uh, it's Portland, 1983. 
Girls are disappearing and no one knows why. Noah, a young punk from the suburbs, becomes obsessed with finding out where they've gone. And he's convinced their disappearances have something to do with the creepy owners of a local brewery, the Pfeffer Bra House. Noah worries about the missing girls as a way of avoiding the fact that something's seriously wrong with his best friend, Evan. Could it be the same evil force that's pulling them all down? When the uh, Pfeffer Bra House opens its doors for a battle of the bands, Noah gets his band, the Galifanters, back together. But there's a new addition, and an enig enigmatic David Bowie lookalike named Ziggy. As the Galifanters get ready to take the stage, they, un they uncover the secrets behind a deadly mystery and what it really means to disappear. But yeah, that's definitely interesting. Uh, this book was published in 2015. Uh, the the author is uh, M. J. Bofran. I guess I say the last name. And okay. Doesn't say what 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 her name is. MJ. I would I guess Mary Jane. Maybe I don't know. Uh, she lives in Seattle with her husband, two kids, and strange dogs. Apparently, she has an MFA in creative writing from Bennington College. In the eighties, she had a bad perm. Okay, cool, interesting. So yeah, definitely can't wait to give this a read. <clears throat> So you guys, I went to Second and Charles, of course, like I always do. Usually every Saturday after work, I go take a look and see what they got. Uh, not a lot this time, because I went crazy on Monday, but I still managed to leave with five titles. Um, and surprisingly, only one horror. Surprisingly. So the first Blu-ray, oh, these are all Blu-rays, by the way. The first Blu-ray I got was a film that um, I never really got to, got to watch. Uh, it's from 2007. It's almost an hour or two and two and a half hours long. Stars Emilio Hirsch, Emil, uh, I can't ever say his name right. Emil Hirsch, uh, Marcia Gay Harden, William Hurt, Jenna Malone, Catherine Keener, Vince Vaughn, and Hal Holbrook, written in uh, screenplay and directed by uh, Sean Penn. It is Into the Wild on Blu-ray here. Uh, this is an old Blu-ray too. It's just you know your basic Blu-ray with the uh, the notice inside. Uh, this is put out by Paramount. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen this. Uh, it's about a young man played by Emil Hirsch. Uh, he abandons his life of comfort to pursue the freedom of life on the road. A quest that leads him to the Alaskan wilderness and ultimate challenge of the, the ultimate challenge of his life. So yeah, and then I yeah I do believe uh, the music on in here was by Eddie Vedder. Yep, I definitely remember listening to the soundtrack at least. So can't wait to check that out. Uh, this one surprised me because I usually don't find uh, Warner Archive uh, Blu-rays at Second and Charles, especially the ones that were released. Uh, was this released last year? Uh, it's a this is a double feature. We get Genesis two and Planet Earth. Uh, Genesis two is from nineteen seventy three. Stars Alex Cord, Ted Cassidy, Mariette Hartley, and Percy Rodriguez. Uh, written and produced by Gene Roddenberry. Directed by John Llewellyn Moxie. Uh, Planet Earth is from 1974. Stars John Saxon, Ted Cassidy again, Christopher Carey, and Janet Marg. Margolin, I guess I see her last name. Directed by Mark Daniels, uh, story by Gene Roddenberry. Uh, it looks like these were, these are both sci-fi films. 
So yeah, definitely can't wait to check those out. Up next is an upgrade. I have the DVD in my collection. I figured I'd upgrade it to the Blu-ray. Uh, it's a film from out by Alfred Hitchcock from 1959. It is North by Northwest. Classic film. If you guys haven't seen this, definitely give it a watch. You'll you'll enjoy it. If you like uh, films with Cary Grant and uh, Eva Marie Saint and James Mason. Uh, up next is an animated uh, horror film from 2018. I think it was just released on Blu-ray last year, though. Uh, stars the voice talents of Ray Wise, Bill Mosley, William Shatner. It is called To Your Last Bre Death. I was going to say breath, but it's To Your Last Death. Uh, after emerging as the sole survivor in a deadly revenge game set up by her father in to punish his children, Miriam receives an offer from a supernatural entity to go back in time and try again. Now Miriam must survive both her father's bloodlust and the game master's ever-changing rules to save her siblings as she relives the worst night of her life. So yeah, it's definitely an interesting uh, plot there. Uh, you can see the animation there. Uh, this was directed by Jason Axon, as I say his last name. Uh, won a bunch of horror film, film festival awards in 2019. Uh, Neff Horror, Horror Avenue, Another Hole in the Head, and Big Apple. So look forward to that one. And then the last Blu-ray here is a TV show on AMC. This is the complete second season of The Terror Infamy. I never watched this when it was on. I watched part of the first season and I do own that as well. Uh, this takes place uh, during World War II. Uh, Japanese Americans on Southern California's Terminal Island are menaced by a Bake Mono or for Folkloric Spectre. Suffering forced evictions and imprisonment after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Terminal Islanders are hounded by prejudice and injustice as well as the as bad omens and bizarre deaths. One of them, Chester Nakayama, uh, decides to take on the malevolent entity, journeying to realms of evil in both the present and the distant past. So definitely can't. I think is that I think George Takai Takai is in here. I think I see him on the back. Is that is that George? I think that's George. Looking forward to that one. Okay, so then I decided on my way home I was gonna check out another Dollar Tree that was on the way home, and I found five titles. Uh, first up is actually a one from my brother. I already have this in my collection. This is a triple feature uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack from Echo Bridge. It is Spiders. Uh, you get Spiders 1, uh, directed by Gary Jones. Uh, it doesn't give me a date on here, though. And it stars a bunch of people I don't know. Spiders 2 uh, is... 96 minutes. Uh, Richard Mall's in that one. And then Spiders 3D, which everyone probably has seen before. Cheap, cheap sci fi movie. Uh, directed by uh, Tabar Takas. He, he's the one that did The Gate and The Gate 2. Uh, I don't think I recognize anyone in that one, but I've seen it before. So yeah, I think it's also known as, isn't it known as like Big Ass Spider? I think that's also the title of that film. But yeah. Uh, second Blu-ray I found was something that everyone seems to be uh, finding, but this is the only copy I've found and I've been to like eight, nine Dollar Trees already. Uh, this is a Shout Studios release, uh, Scott Atkins film, Abduction. 
you can tell the when they put this the cover in here it's like way off but I'll fix it later uh, 2019 around 100 minutes uh, this is about I believe aliens and uh, Scott Atkins has to no uh, see Quinn, a member of the SWAT unit, steps out of a park f fountain in, a, in, a, in an Asian city with no recollection of who he is or where he came from. As he pieces together clues from his past, he vaguely recalls his young daughter who has been kidnapped. Meanwhile, Connor, a former military operative turned gangster for hire, discovers that his wife has also disappeared mis mysteriously into the middle of the night. These two men with little in common realize they must work together to find their loved ones and thwart the, the mysterious abductors. I thought this was about... I thought this was about aliens. Maybe it is. I don't know. That one guy looks creepy though. Right there. Uh, so everyone's been finding the Blu-ray of this, but I only found the DVD. This is a documentary about Vegas. Uh, it's called Sunset Strip. I think this is about Vegas, right? No, 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 I'm sorry, California. Yeah, it's California. I'm wondering why I think Vegas. Uh, anyway, uh, you got a bunch of people in here, as you can see. We get Slash, Johnny Depp, Keanu Reeves, Mickey Rourke, Sharon Stone, Ozzy. Courtney Love, Alice Cooper, Hugh Hefner, Perry Farrell, Peter Fonda, Clive Davis, Dan Aykroyd, Sophia Coppola, Tom Arnold, uh, Richard Lewis, Paris Hilton, Lou Adler, Tommy Lee, Duff Kagan, D Dave Navarro, Billy Corgan, Robbie Krieger, Method Man, Lemmy, Paul Mooney, and many more. I know all those people. You get live performances on here from... Uh, the Band of America, Dita Von Tees, uh, Jane's Addiction, The Head Cat, The Pussycat Dolls, Rat Slash featuring Fergie, Smashing Pumpkins, Steel Panther, and X. All great X right there. Uh, this, this documentary is 97 minutes, and this is put up by Vision Films from 2013. There's a bunch of digital stills for the, the famous people. Oh yeah, and I, I have, I, I've never been inside, but I have seen the Whiskey A Go-Go when I visited uh, LA quite a few times over the years. House of Blues, The Viper Room, Comedy Store, uh, Sunset tro Truck, I can't say it, I know what it is, but I never say it, uh, Trocador, Cordero, I don't know how to say that, but yeah. That's cool. I found the original film from 1932. I think some people already have this. If you bought the original, the uh, remake Steelbook from Big Lots a couple of years ago, you would have the, the DVD in it. It is the original Scarface uh, starring Boris Karloff, George Raft, and Paul Mooney. Produced by Howard Hughes, directed by Howard Hawks. Definitely some more classic films in my collection. And then the last DVD here is a five, five, five movie collection here from Echo Bridge 2015. It is the Termination Collection. Uh, we get uh, Cyber Vengeance from 1999, starring Robert Davy, Amy Lynn Baxter, Matthias Hughes, Jay Gregory Smith, Josh Mosby, and Terry Serpico. Uh, the second film is called Running Delilah. Uh, 85 minutes. It doesn't say when, what year it was filmed, but uh, Kim Cattrall is in this film. Uh, we know her from uh, 
uh, Big Trouble in Little China, and then she was in Sex and the City, if, if, I, if I remember correctly. I never watched the show, but I think she's from there too. Uh, third film is Shadow Chaser from 1992, starring Martin Cove, Meg Foster, uh, Frank Zagarino, uh, Paul Coslo, and Jack Ackland. Uh, fourth film is called Stormtrooper. Uh, doesn't say what year that one's from. Uh, it's got a good cast though, and it's also got a great director too, directed by Jim, Jim Wynarski, uh, starring John Laughlin, Carol Alt, Corey Feldman, Rick Hill, Zach Galligan, and the best of the best, Mr. Cool Mo D. And then the last title here is called Star Night. Also doesn't say what year that's from, but it has Harvey Keitel, Klaus Kinski, Fernando Rey, uh, Maria Lamore, Jose Vivo, and Miguel Boss. This, this collection is 453 minutes long for all five movies together. And then you got these weird pictures on the back, which I don't know if they really have anything to do with the films or not, but there you go. So that is everything I have today, uh, Miranda. Don't don't forget. I I still have. I'm still working on that ten best list that you tagged me in. So I'll get that up soon enough. Probably record that tomorrow. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Stay safe out there. Happy hunting. I know Dollar Tree is kind of hit or miss, like always, but. I'm still trying to find a few films that you guys have been finding. So anyway, guys, have a great night. See you later. Bye.